Hey guys, it's Matt with CJ Off-Road here. Now in front of me on the table, I've got Rough Country's brand new multi-purpose tailgate table, fitting your 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL, as well as JL four-door. Now what's neat about the Rough Country table is that it completely bolts up utilizing factory locations. It gives you a nice durable workspace to work on in the back of your Jeep Wrangler. I used to have one of these in my last JL and when I got the Gladiator, it's one of those things that I really did miss. And I'm super grateful that Rough Country did come out with one of these at a very affordable price that can work with all Jeep Wranglers. And as we were looking at this a little bit closer, you can see there is a lot of detail that went into this tailgate table. There is a nice bushing in between this folding piece and also these lengths of wire here are rubber coated too so you won't have to worry about them rusting or damaging anything that you put up on here. You can see we've got the molly straps for webbing. You've also got holes in case you wanted to attach anything else and then two cup holders because what tailgate table will be complete without some cup holders there. Now in this video today we're going to show you how to get this installed on my 2021 Eco Diesel Wrangler. So let's get started. All right guys, we're at the back of our Jeep Wrangler. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and open up your tailgate, make sure your Jeep is on a level ground, and then grab yourself a trim removal tool. We need to remove this plastic panel here that is covering up our tailgate. If you do already have the trail rail system, go ahead and remove that also. What we're gonna do first is just get this plastic section off so we can drill a few holes for that tailgate table. Go ahead and get the trim removal tool and just go underneath the plastic here. Should pop off relatively easily. Obviously be careful when you're doing this. They are just plastic clips. So it looks like we only got two stuck in there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those out and then reinstall them back onto the backside of our trim panel. All right guys, so on the backside of your tailgate panel, you're gonna locate four locations to drill out using a half inch drill bit. They're gonna be a location right here, right up here. And these are both the top locations if you flip it over. And then down towards the bottom, there's a small dimple on either side. There's one here and right over where Brendan's pointing. And those are gonna be drilled out to a half inch as well as the inside of these two protrusions here. Go ahead and grab yourself a drill with a half inch bit. And then we can go ahead and drill these out. If you guys are watching this, you can just pop off this panel. It actually, we gave it a little bit of force and it popped off. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these out, just kind of setting like this so it's a little bit more maneuverable. Once we have the panel laid back down, drill out both of the dimple locations to the same size. Then we're gonna flip it around, drill out this one as well. And then obviously get this a little bit cleaned up. You can use a little blade just to make it a little bit cleaner. Blow all of this excess shavings off and then we can reinstall this panel back on and get it back into the Jeep. So go ahead and clip this back in and make sure all of the green clips are back in their locations. Give it a firm push all the way around to ensure that they're all back in. And then we will grab our upper panel here and just pop that back into place too. like that. And then the next step is actually to install the four spacers into here. You're going to grab four that are the exact same length and they're just going to sit right into location like so into those four drilled holes. All right guys, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and grab our tailgate table and then these style spacer with two of the screws and that's to go through our upper hole like so. Then get these snugged up using a four millimeter Allen key. I'm just using this socket by hand just to get them snugged up. And then we're just gonna get the top snugged up a while on both sides. So in order to get the lower bolts installed, we do have to remove this bolt and nut that holds on the lower part of the table. Go ahead and using a four millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. We're gonna go ahead and get this removed. So to get this off, you're gonna take the nut off the backside, take the bolt out, 
and then just set that aside. I'm gonna hang this side up just using the clasp that's provided here, and then repeat the same process over on the other side. So now with the lower part disconnected, we can basically just hang that down, and then go ahead and grab your two long bolts with washers, and they're gonna thread right into there. You might have to loosen up the top just a little bit. This is why they say just snug up the top, because there is a little bit of play in this, depending on your Jeep, depending on how it was built. So just get that lined up. And then we're gonna use our ratchet and get them tightened down. So we'll get these snugged up using our four millimeter Allen key. And then we can go up top and do a final tighten. Now with those tight, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install what Rough Country calls these rubber snubbers, as they say in the instructions. And these are just gonna prop right in there. And that's what's actually gonna hit the back side of this when you flip it up and it goes to latch to make sure there's no rattling in the back here. And then with mine, when I reinstall those two bolts with the Delrin bushing in between there, I am gonna tighten them up pretty tight because I don't like this to rattle at all in the back, which it won't, especially with those and tightening up those a little bit. Once you have both of the bolts and nuts in place, go ahead and tighten them up using the same four millimeter Allen key and 10 millimeter box wrench. So once you get those snugged up, we're gonna go ahead and try it out. You do want it to be a tight fit, and I like it that it doesn't drop on its own. So there you go, just drops nice and down, good and tight, and we have a good level work surface here. We can cook, we can set our drinks down, heck, you can do whatever you want back here. Don't exceed the weight capacity listed by Rough Country because you can't really jump and sit on this or anything, but you can get a decent amount of weight, get your cooktop, get your camp stove on top of here, and that's gonna be it, guys. Overall, this is a really quick installation. Honestly, it only takes about 20 minutes. You don't really need any crazy special tools to do it. And you can get a nice work surface on the back of your Jeep for less than 100 bucks. Now, if you guys wanna check out this Rough Country tailgate table, as well as many other great parts, be sure to visit cjponyparts.com.